guys, so in this video I'm going to look at Shopify and how to do some of the on-page SEO edits in Shopify. So here I'm looking at a blog post in Shopify. So if you notice on the left hand side on the menu, I'm at blog posts and I'm looking at this blog post here. So the title of the blog is Five Smoothie and Liquid Pairings to Amp Up Your Smoothies. Then all the contents written in this window. If we scroll down to the end of the content, we now have some other, uh, I guess, windows or, yes, blocks that we can look at. So one is an excerpt, so we can add an excerpt or add a summary of the post appear on your home page of blogs, so we can add that or not. And then below that we have search engine listing preview. So this is where we can add in all our meta descriptions, meta titles and so forth for the blog post. So at the top, under search engine listing preview, we actually see what the preview looks like on, say, Google. So this is the, and then underneath that we have the page title. So here we can actually write in the, t the title that we want to appear on, say, Google or some search engine. And right below it, it's really quite nice. It tells you how many characters are in your title. So in this case, this particular title has 57 characters. Then below that we now have our meta description, or room to write our meta description. And again, below that it will tell you how many characters are used. So we're within the 320 characters. And then below that we have the URL and handle. So this is where you can, so let me see, yeah, this highlighted part, that's where we can change the slug to whatever we want for this page. And then when we get to the bottom, we just have content, comment, sorry. So this block here that says search engine listing preview, this is where you can do all the edits for uh, your meta title, meta description, and then the URL and slug for your blog post to help with your on-page and your, yes, your on-page, your, your SEO for that particular blog post. Let's scroll back up. Now let's look at the image. So on the right hand side we have a few blocks as well. We have visibility and then we have our featured image. <clears throat> so let's see if we can change the alt text or how do we do that. So let's go to update. So we can update the image or edit. So let's go to edit. Oh, is that working? Hmm. Computer is slow. There it is. It's coming. It's very slow. All right, so it's blue. I'm not sure why it's blue. Okay, there. That was very slow. So if you notice, the image, it says edit image. So we have our image, and then we have image alt text. So this is where we can write our alt text for the image. So that's great. So let's cancel. So we like that alt text. Now let's look at the post itself. Because the post itself has images in it, references, it has links internal, external links, it has headings, let's see what we can do um, to help help this site a bit, or help this page any anyway with its SEO a bit more. So here's an image, so let's click on the image, let's see what we can do. We'll click edit image, and again it's very slow, I'm not sure why. Ah, there, popped up. So we have the image alt text, smoothie and liquid pairings, alright. So so it gives us, so we clicked on that image, and <clears throat> this is sort of the layout and um, alignment, but what we're really interested in is in the image alt text. So here the alt, the alt text is smoothie and liquid pairings. That's good. Um, I guess we can take away these dashes. And liquid pairings um, table. All right an edit image. So now we have changed the alt uh, text for that image. Now let's click on this best smoothie and liquid pairings for living pharmacy craft smoothies and let's see what this is. Is this a heading or a title? I have no idea. Let's look at formatting and uh, we changed it to an H2 heading. Whoops, I go back to text, that's H2. Good. Let's scroll up, what to use for smoothie pairing. So let's highlight that, we'll click formatting, and let's do H2. 
Good. Smoothie and liquid pairing recommendations. Change that. Let's change that to H3. Not bad. So in this way we can we can decide what our headings are or where our headings are, H1 to H6 heading. Now let's look at this word here, the blue coconut milk. It's underlined, so this probably has a link attached to it. So <clears throat> let's see what that link is. I think we edit link. Huh, okay. So perhaps this, let's have a look. What's going on here? Oh, maybe there is no link there. Um, I'm trying to find a link for us. How about this one? A live frozen smoothies. Let's see. Huh. Oh. Edit link. Oh yes, okay. So so let's do that again. So I'll so we're on a live frozen smoothies. Clearly there's a link there because it's purple and it's underlined. So I'm just going to put my cursor on there and then click the li little link um, button, edit link. And then it tells us where it's linking to. So it's linking to this page, uh, livingpharmacy.com slash product slash alive frozen. Okay. And it tells us to open this link in the same window. So this is an internal link, so it's a link to another page within the site, probably a product. All right, so we, so we can create links, internal links throughout the post. And let's have a look at this image, organic coconut milk. And again, let's see if we can edit the image. We're going to highlight the image, click on the little image button. We're going to wait and there you go, so the image alt text is already there. Chas or co uh, organic coconut milk. Huh. I'm going to remove the little dashes in between. Coconut milk can, or rather, let's put a can of, can of organic coconut milk. Great. So maybe the alt text for these images has not been edited. That's definitely something we can we can work on. Let's try it. Let's do one more. Let's do this one right here. Again, highlight the image. So let's see, a carton of organic unsweetened coconut milk. Let's take out the dashes. It looks like Shopify defaults the alt, the alt text for an image to the name of the image. So we want to change that. And it gives you a little description below uh, the, the field where you, in, oh, didn't spell carton, right? Where we insert the alt text. It says, alt text makes images more accessible to everyone, including people with visual impairments. Learn more about alt text. So this is really great. Shopify gives you information and a bit of education on each of these fields and alt text in this particular case. And then we click edit image. So once you've completed all your um, edits for SEO or to your blog post, then the top right hand corner, you just want to click save so you don't lose any of it. And that's how you edit uh, the SEO for a web page in Shopify using the Shopify um, platform.